Blog Talk Radio. Good morning, everybody. This is Lori Smith on Blog Talk Radio, and it is 10 o'clock here in the morning, Sunday morning, October the 3rd. I am so glad to be here. Praise the Lord. This is Mount Bethel Christian Bible Study, Getting Real with God. And I just wanted to do one show a week. You know, you can see by my show page that, you know, the, the topics that I cover are really quite distressing and disturbing, uh, child abuse and uh, human rights abuses, domestic violence, sexual assault, and, and all everything that goes with it. And um, so that that's kind of, you know, that can bring a person down. And uh, it's easy to, you know, let this the things that are going on in this world uh, bring us down. And so that's why I wanted to do one show, you know, because I thought I would guarantee that I get into the Bible and get into the Word and spend some time uh, just to prepare for the show, you know, so that's why I'm doing this. So I'm not a, a, a pastor or, or, you know, a minister or anything like that. I, I wanted to go to Bible school and uh, was led in another direction. And um, But I, I I love the Word of God, and I just really wanted to share what He's doing in my life and, and what I what I see going on around the world and what I think He's trying to, you know, what He's trying to get us to do here, you know, to be His hands and feet. The Lord Jesus, praise God. And so... You know, I, I thought, well, why not include one show a week and just, you know, read some of his precious word and and just talk about the, the things that I know that he's doing in my life and, and what I've seen him doing in, in other people's lives. So it's just awesome. And I'm just happy to be here. Praise the Lord. So, you know, I was thinking this morning, I was actually sitting around thinking about, uh, actually last night and this morning, about the whole issue of the heart, you know. Like, the, if you look in the in the in the back of your Bible in the concordance there, you can see there's so, so much written about the the issues of the heart, like what is going on in the heart of man. You know, it, it's really quite, I think really the Bible is, is based, basically based on that because the Bible is spirit, like that God's word is, is truth, God's word is himself, and since God is, is, is spirit, he is, he is light and truth and goodness, mercy, compassion, and everything that is good, you know. Uh, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Um, it, it, the book is really, you know, we, with our own carnal minds, we, we can't get it, you know what I mean? We will never really understand it. But if we if we look at it through our spiritual eyes and look at it through our heart, really, and that's the heart that God has given us to see the truth, to see what light is, to see what love is, to see what, and to understand, you know, what love is and what goodness is, mercy, compassion, and everything that he is, praise God. He's allowed us to see himself through his word because him and him and his word are one, praise God. And so I was sitting around thinking about that and I thought, yeah, so so much uh, of the Bible is really about the issues of, of what's going on in men's hearts, in the heart of man, you know, women and, women and men, right, just mankind, right, his children. And, you know, it really is an issue of, of the heart, really. I think the whole, uh, the world's problems are that the fact that people would rather serve the devil than serve God. They would rather do the devil's work than do the Lord's work. You know, so many times people will hurt people uh, and do terrible things to people just out of the meanness and the, the evil in their heart. And and I guess maybe the reason I talk about this a lot is, you know, as people know, if you've listened to my other shows, I've seen the worst of people's hearts, you know, my own family, including my own. You know, I can't take myself out of that equation, right, because I had a lot of hatred in my heart, a lot of anger, a lot of uh, hatred, real hatred, and, uh, you know, for what had happened to my family, and it was directed towards my parents and towards people, uh, even though later on I realized that I didn't hate them. I just hated what they did. And then I started to realize, yeah, I don't hate people. I just hate what they do. But then I thought hate, you know, goes against God and it goes against everything that God stands for. Hate is of the devil. So I had to start to learn to turn that hate around and let the Holy Spirit guide me to um, forgive, first of all, those who would come against me, those who would use me, those who did use me. Uh, and and he's really working with me on that. That's that's the precious Holy Spirit, praise God. And you know he's had to really work hard on in my case, because at, at any given time during the day I can turn from a person who has love in my heart to feeling uh, bad about certain things that people have done to me in the past. And and you know I suffer from a lot of flashbacks and uh, I have these memories which I choose to keep because I want to help stop child abuse, right? But he's had to really work with me to show me how to walk in love and how to keep love in my heart, 
even while I'm dealing with this stuff of my own background and all, uh, you know and also talking about the prevention of child abuse and stopping child abuse right so we have to have love in our heart if we're going to serve God right because God cannot there's just no way that God can be on darkness he can't come into our lives if we are uh sitting around in a in a pit of darkness and despair what he will do which he has already done is sent the lord jesus uh you know to the cross praise god thank you jesus to save us all uh but if 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 a person does not accept that and allow god to work in their lives and to you know to redeem them back to himself that's the work and the work on the cross praise god um you know it, it doesn't do any good you can think you're a good person. So in other words, like last week, that's what I was talking about last week, uh, was that, you know, I thought I was a good person. I thought, well, I don't intentionally hurt people, and, you know, I'm I'm a, I'm a sort of a good person. You know, I, I care about people, and I always try to help people if I can. But being good has absolutely nothing to do with it, you know what I mean, as far as what, what God sees in, 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 in His eyes. We have to be redeemed back to Him through his son the, the precious the, the precious holy lamb of god the lord jesus christ praise god so i i believe this with all of my heart and um you know I, I as i was reading the bible i could see what had happened you know he had sent people uh ahead of the lord jesus to make the way for for the lord jesus and it had to be people who would follow him with their whole heart so you know you look back at like noah you look back at uh oh there were so many i mean uh, all the prophets who would give their lives to to get the word out to people that god wanted his people and his children to know what he was saying uh so that jesus could come into the to the whole you know fruition of the plan praise the lord jesus hallelujah and thank god for those people that carried out god's will I think God knew that these people would do it because he saw the end from the beginning, see. So he's already seen what you're going to do. He's already seen what I'm going to do. It's a matter of what, whether or not, you know, we have to sit and just hope that we do a good job for him because at the end of the road, he's already seen what we've done. And he'll weigh it in the end, whether it was good or, or not good in his eyes, you know. And I sit and I think every day, I'm like, oh, Lord, keep me on the path, you know. <laughs> I so want to, to please the Lord and I so want to do his will and not serve the devil and, you know, just stay on the path, right? And it's a hard, tricky road because the devil will come up and try to get get you to doubt God, try to get you to doubt his word. Uh, the devil will try to throw these uh, stumbling blocks in front of you to get you to doubt that God's word is true and that his promises are true and, and that everything he said is, is true. The devil will try to make, turn it around and, and make it look like, you know, that to get our hearts away from God see that's the whole issue it's a heart it's a heart issue you know it's not a mind issue it's not of the mind it's a it's a heart issue of whether or not we're going to serve god and whether or not we're going to do all we can to stay on the path and to keep love in our heart because love is god and god is love hallelujah and we know what love is we also know what darkness is and so that's why you know i spent my whole in this um, I had a lot of love in my heart when I was a little kid, but the thing is, is I was surrounded by darkness and surrounded by evil people who would do evil things to people. And, uh, you know, uh, it's hard on people, you know, because you develop, uh, it sort of takes you over, you know what I mean? And so I forced to live like that for so many years and then uh, continued it on until about, uh, well, May 22nd, 2007. So three and a half years ago, praise the Lord. So that's the thing, right? It's an issue of the heart. And I kind of want to just look at uh, some scripture here, uh, looking at what King David said in First Chronicles 16, uh, verse 7 through 36. It's a psalm, and it's just beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. And so that's First Chronicles um, chapter 16, verses starting with verse 7. And I'll just read through here because it's just absolutely beautiful. Says this, I'm just reading from the King James, but you can read from whichever you know translation you like. They're all so awesome. It says, Then on that day David delivered first his psalm to thank the Lord into the hand of Asaph and his brethren. Give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him. Sing psalms unto him. Talk ye, uh, talk ye of all his wondrous works. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face continually. 
Remember his marvelous works that he hath done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O ye seed of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones, he is the Lord our God, his judgments are in all the earth. Be mindful always of his covenant, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, even of the covenant which he made with Abraham, and of his oath unto Isaac, and have confirmed the same on Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. Saying unto thee, Will I give the will I give the land of Canaan the lot of your inheritance, when ye were but few, even a few, and strangers in it, and when they went from nation to nation and from one kingdom to another uh, people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Show forth from day to day his salvation. Declare his glory among the, the heathen, his marvelous works among all nations. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. Also is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the people are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Glory and honor are in his presence. Strength and gladness are in, in his place. Give unto the Lord, ye kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. The world also shall be stable, that it be not moved. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. And let men say among the nations, The Lord reigneth. Let the sea roar in the fullness thereof. Let the fields rejoice and all that is therein. Then shall the trees of the woods sing out of the presence of the Lord, because he cometh to judge the earth. O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. And say ye, save us, O God of our salvation, and gather us together, and deliver us from the heathen, and that we may give thanks to thy holy name and glory in thy praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel forever and ever. And all the people said, Amen, and praise the Lord. And so that's just beautiful. Praise the Lord for your precious word. Um, you know, that's uh, David, you know, just declaring the works of God and saying, you know, there are no other gods. They're just idols for the heaven. The heavens and the earth were made by the Lord, created by the Lord. And I just, you know, I just love this because it's really, it's an issue of the heart, whether we want to serve God or we want to serve the devil. The devil is out here roar, like, a, like a roaring lion, it says, you know, seeking those who he may devour, you know, and and destroy, right? That's what his, he's here to do. He's here to go against God. He is he is God's enemy. And so because he wanted to be God. He says I, he, he he said I will be like the most high. He wanted to take the throne. There was a war in heaven and a percent of the angels with the devil, other percent stayed with God. Praise the Lord, the holy angels of God. Uh some went with uh, Satan. You know, and he was and when God created uh Satan, he you know, uh he was he was perfect. But the thing is, is he was not God. And he wanted to be God. And so that's the war. That is what's going on right now, people. It is the evil that was created because Satan wanted to usurp God. He wanted to take over his, his, his throne. And you can't. How can you? God is God, the Almighty Father Creator. So praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know what I mean? It's like, we don't have to serve the devil. We can serve God. But if we're going to do that, we have to have love in our hearts. Because, you know, do you look back at the... If you take a big, long look at history and just kind of put it into a certain time frame and you look back from now all the way back to Adam and Eve, it's not that hard to do. There's only been so many generations. There's only been so many years by. And, you know, what's been going on on, on the earth here? Nothing but evil and hatred. And then the odd person who is just so good and wants to help. And those people really stand out because the rest of the world is just living in this, I don't know, you know, whatever's going on in their hearts. They just don't care. And they don't want to help and they don't care about people. And they are quite often only thinking of themselves, even when they think they're not a bad person. So many Christians out here, you know, and I'm not running down. I mean, I'm a Christian. The thing is, is like so many people on this earth that, they think they're good, and yet they don't have love in heart. They go around gossiping and talking about people 
people, putting people down. You know, they wouldn't help somebody if 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 their life depended on it. You know, they're just interested in their house and their cars, and oh, they're so blessed. Oh, we're so blessed. Look at us. You know, and then somebody on the street who's homeless and say, oh, get a job. It's a Christian. People will. People are. You know, people will do that. You know, Christians. Christians. Other people like friends. I'm and and you know what? I'm. It's, I'm I just the truth, and I, I care. You know, people don't like me too bad. People, Christians will look at other people like Muslims and Hindus and all this, and they will look at them and they will. They will judge them, and they will have hatred in their heart towards them. And, and the whole issue is, is that God loves those people. God loves them enough to send Jesus to the cross for them and for me. You know what I'm saying? We cannot uh, look at this whole picture with our own minds. We have to allow God and his word and, and his truth to come into our heart. See, Jesus did not have walked down the street cussing out the Muslims. He might have had a word for them to say, and you, you do want to serve God, and uh, you know you're going to have to come through me. But he would not sit there and look at them and say, "Look at those people." Blah blah blah. You know, no, he just didn't have an ounce of hatred in his heart. Jesus was pure, and Jesus was innocent, completely pure and innocent. He was light and truth, and God Himself in the flesh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So there's no way that he would judge some, but like uh, have hatred in his heart towards them, as much as he would teach them. Because Jesus was the God he was preaching, the teacher, and he was here to teach God one. But the thing is, is God loves the Muslims. God loves every one of the children. Believe it or not, he loves their children. Guaranteed, he does. He sent Jesus to cross for the and Jesus for the righteous. He sent, he sent Jesus went to the cross for the sinner like me. You know what I mean? So, you know, thank God, thank you, Jesus. Because I'm I'm so happy about that. You know, he took my place on the cross and I'm so thankful. And, you know, he really he went for all of us. And so that's the issue. It's not, you know, who am I to judge? Um, you know, we, we're supposed to just te- be a you know testimony here on the earth. You know, to the to say, look, you, you need the Lord Jesus, and you must call upon the Lord and be reborn, a new child. You know, a new creation, because we have to let the old sin nature die away. We have to let the old sin glory die, and the new glory be reborn unto the Lord. And I'll have a new name, which I already have, because it says you have a new name, and only God knows what it is. And when you get to heaven, then you'll find out. So, but here on the earth, I still have my old name, but I'm not the same person. I'm a reborn, recreated, uh, new creature unto God, new child. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for my redemption. I'm so happy. And so, that's just the whole issue. If we're not walking in love, we're not doing God's work. So, I have to be very careful, and we all do. You know, when we're walking around, you know, in our daily walk here on this earth, and uh, something comes up in, in our face that we just don't like, and all of a sudden we have a judgment about it, and it's something, it has to do with maybe something somebody says or what somebody's doing to us, you know, because quite often people are just rude and mean. And instead of walking in love, be like, well, yeah, they're just, you know, or, you know, how could they be, and we, we have all these thoughts in our hearts. You may just said that you may as well have any or hatred thought in your heart for another person, which would be any one person on the planet, brothers and sisters. Um, then we may as well have just killed them. You know, it's the same in God's eyes. There's no difference. So we have to be very, very careful what with what uh, what we're thinking, what we have in our heart. And and allow God to, um, you know, to cleanse our heart every day. It has to be a daily walk. You know, it's like, oh, I was born again three years ago, and now I can do whatever I want. I can think whatever I want, and I can be as hurtful as I want, and I can, I can be my same old self. No, we can't. It doesn't fly. It doesn't fly. I don't know why? Because you, you keep you keep my thoughts, you keep my word in your in your ears, in your lips, in your mouth in your heart, and you keep yourself diligent to my word, because he knows that the devil is going around all the time trying to get people to not do the will of God and to not have uh, God in our hearts, right? 
because if we have hatred in our heart and or any kind of uh, ill will towards somebody in our heart, God can't be around that. He can't be around sin. So it's like, you know, you just get into the Word and start seeing this stuff, and it's absolutely so important that we stick to the Word of God and really let let the Holy Spirit teach us, you know, which what, what is right. What is right and righteous. That's what righteous is. It just means right standing, what is good in God's eyes. And hurting people is not good. And and, and if, if we do, we need to repent. You know, if we hurt somebody, we need to repent and say, you know what, I repent, Lord. And, you know, even if the other person, we try to apologize and it just doesn't go well. Well, you know, if we repent before the Lord and we say, Lord, I repent, I I, I did this and I, I, you know, I want to change. And I, I want to be a better, I want to be the person you want me to be. I want to be a better person. I want to be like you and be, you know, good and have love and mercy, compassion and and kindness and truth in my heart, light and, and everything that is love and goodness, right? Because if we had that in our hearts, we wouldn't be out doing these horrible things to people, right? People wouldn't be out killing each other, stealing each other's stuff and, and hurting each other, uh, you know, that's you know the whole issue is I concentrate on the issue of child abuse and especially and uh, and domestic violence and um, you know just all this horrible stuff that's going on around the planet uh, you know and being a survivor myself I completely understand what these people are going through and so it's like you know that's from the devil that is not from God because God is light and the devil everything he does is is in darkness because he is he is the exact opposite of God. He's the enemy. And so, you know, he would cause pain and horror and sadness and destruction and despair on this earth, and he's been doing it for a long, long time. That's not from God. God did not plan that. Man decided to serve the devil, and that's exactly what we've been doing all of these years since Adam and Eve. And so, you know, it's really up to all of us to to be accountable for our own behavior. And if we do hurt someone, to try to make it right, and then try not to do it again. And that's the whole that's the whole thing. And it's a hard road to walk, but but you can do it. We can all do it because we can just hold on to the Lord Jesus, and we can say, Lord Jesus, keep me on this path. I need to stay on this path. Do not let me go to the right or to the left. You know. Keep me straight on this path to to what God wants, and you know, keep love in my heart, goodness and mercy, compassion, and kindness towards people. And of course, if we're doing that, we're keeping our focus on Jesus and and, and God the Father and the Holy Spirit. Then, and we keep our mind focused on that. You know, we're not going to be hurting people because our main focus would be to do good. We'll be like, no. I have to do the right thing in this situation. I got to try to help, and if I can't help, I, I just need to at least be kind and be good and keep goodness in my heart. Because you know, I mean, it's some sometimes it's just things like where people will say something hurtful to you, and it's a question of whether or not you can let it go and forgive them, or whether you you can't forgive them and you just hold all this hatred in your heart towards that person. You know, or somebody does something to us that is so devastating, and we're just like, how could somebody do that? You know what I mean? We have to remember that they're just serving the devil. That's why. See, they're children. They're, they, they, they're God's children, but they're serving the devil. You know, and and that's the problem. So many people are, and the devil, you know, gets a hold of people, and and they're blinded. They can't see. Right? They don't realize half the time they're even hurting people. They just think that they're just allowed. They're just doing what they're doing, and everything's okay with them. But they're blinded to the fact that what they're doing is of the devil. And so, because otherwise it would, they wouldn't be doing it, right? That's the whole issue. People would not be out uh, abusing their children and sexually using their children if they if they had God in their heart first place. Because how how could you do that if you knew that that was wrong and that God is light, truth, mercy, loving, you know, goodness, and everything that is good, and yet you would carry on these dirty deeds behind the thinking that you can get away with it and that God doesn't see it. No. Well, I got news for you, buddy. God does see it. See, that's and that's what I, you know, I, I totally, you know, get that. You know, like all all the stuff that happened in my life and in my in, that, that I did personally that was really bad. I know God saw it, so I had to repent of that. You know, and all the stuff that was done to me that I know, especially my parents did, to mess up our whole family up and and myself and themselves. Um, you know, I know that God saw that whole thing. You know, and and they are going to have to answer for it. Whether they, I, you know, they're born again. Well, that's fine. I, I believe that my mom was also born again. Um, so you know, she, but she's still going to stand in, in in some type of judgment. 
because God's going to show us our life before us, and He's going to weigh it good or bad. And uh, even though you know we may be redeemed and we may go to heaven, we still have we still have to be very very careful what we're doing, because God sees what's in our hearts. He knows what's in our hearts. See. And so, you know, I think what he's going to do is he's going to show my parents what they did to us. And then he's going to weep. And they're going to weep. Because they're going to be like, oh, my God, how could I have done that to my children? Oh, my God. You know, and I can just imagine, like, what what's going to happen when they get to see the big picture of what they did to us. And this goes for every single person on the planet, including myself. God's going to show me the picture of my life, and I'm going to, I'm going to weep and, and cry for the horrible things that I've done to people. You know what I mean? And so I have to be very, very careful. We have to be very, very careful to keep love in our heart, which is to keep God first place. God is love. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And keep him first place in our heart. And, you know, just keep the cross in our heart and keep that, keep walking, you know, and, and allowing ourselves to be the hands and the feet of the Lord Jesus here on the planet. And here to, you know, just do what we can to help people uh, you know, to, to first of all, to know about the Lord and what He's doing in our life, and also just to be a good person to people, and to be light and truth, and not speak darkness, and not speak uh, lies, and not speak, um, you know, gossiping uh, and 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 all this stuff against people, right? Because we will be held accountable for every word. That's what it says in the Bible. We will be held accountable for every word that we speak. So we have to be very careful what we say. And so that's the whole issue. It's it's very very serious. And Matthew 15 uh, 16 through 20. I love this scripture. This is the Lord Jesus. And um he says and ye are also yet with are ye also yet without understanding. Do not ye yet understand that whatsoever entereth in at the mouth goeth out into the belly and is cast out into the draught. But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart and they defile the man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man. But to eat with unwashed hands defileth not a man. So it's what's going on in our hearts. That's what defiles. Uh, that is what defiles mankind. Is blasphemies and evil thoughts. You know, it proceeds from the heart. It's the intent. The people would have the intent to kill their children, or people would have the intent, this evil in their heart, to beat on their children or to rape their children or whatever they do to abuse their children or their partners. And and, and women are, are are included in that, right? What they would do to their children or what they would do to their neighbors. It's out of the evil and the intent of their heart. And that's from the devil, I tell you that. And these people, you know, we have to pray for them. That's why Jesus said, you know, pray for those who, who who despitefully use you and would and would come against you. You know what I mean? Because they are your enemies. We're supposed to be praying for them because they need it. They're on their way to hell, right? And so, because of what they've done, you know, if they don't repent and get right with the Lord and get redeemed back to our Father, they are on the road to hell. And so we do, we have to pray for them and uh, to, you know, pray a prayer of salvation for them because they, I'm sure that, that the Father, the, the Lord God Jehovah weeps for them because he doesn't want to lose not one to the devil, to hell, because hell was not created for man, it was created for the devil and his angels, the ones that followed him. So that's the whole issue, right? He doesn't want to lose one to the devil. And the devil is going out there trying to get, catch as many souls as he can. And, you know, so we have to serve God with our whole heart, our whole heart, you know, not just part of it, saying, oh, you know, I'm a good person, and, and then go and do these horrible things and think these horrible thoughts about people. You know, it's not even so much doing, it's what we think about people. See, because God knows our hearts and he knows our minds, he knows our thoughts. And so it's so important that we keep ourselves right with God at all times and try to do what we can to spread God's word and message here of light and truth, mercy, compassion, and loving kindness and everything that is good, you know, and do the best we can to stay on that path. Praise God. Well, I pray for all of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. We have about a minute left, and I appreciate everybody tuning into my shows. I just I just thank you all so much for being here, and um, I'll keep you in my prayers. And, you know, everybody who's listening, just God bless you and keep you, and may your cup just 
overfill, overfill and overrun you with the blessing of God, that it would surround you and keep you protected, and just the fullness of God in everything in your life, and that uh, that you know that the Lord would just keep blessing you more and more every day. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great day. God bless you all. Talk to you soon.